Hi everybody, it's Belinda from Belinda's Book Nook and I'm here to do a Friday Reads. Um, happy day. I am really excited. I sat kind of glued to the TV on Wednesday watching the inauguration proceedings and all the celebrations and feeling hopeful. Very, very excited. Um, about that so that kind of gave me a boost this week but it also <laughs> I thought Wednesday I was gonna do usually Wednesday I um, I take off and I try to you know that's that's the, one of my days off and I try to uh, get more reading done and that was just not necessarily the case because I was kind of glued to the TV um, I recorded some things as well so I could just go back and look at them and, and watch the proceedings but History was made. We'll see what happens. I think that, you know, it's not like a light switch. Things are going to improve dramatically. Um, I think it's going to take time for a lot of things to get better, including the pandemic. Um, but I'm hopeful. So there was that. Um, what else happened this week? Well, today, this, the weather is decent. Um, it's cold, though. We've gotten into really, really cold weather. I'm not so bad with the cold as long as there's sunshine, but when it gets dreary, I'm like, oh, you know, I could just, I would much rather just uh, be somewhere else then. So there's that. So where am I with my reading? So we have no, you know, this month has kind of just went like that and we're almost to February. What, how did that happen? But it always happens to me. So, um, all right, so the things that I have been reading so this is the first one I had talked to you guys about. I'm not finished yet, still loving it, still loving it. Definitely a five star. Um, unless something, I don't know, unless she crashes and burns on the ending, um, it, it should still make it to a five star. I slowed down in this to because I had another book that came in that I also um, haven't told you about that I wanted to get in there. So, um, but I will definitely finish this by the end of the month. I do think though, I may have to push one of my books um, on until the next month because I'm not sure if we're going to finish it in time. And that one is The Paper Daughters of Chinatown. That one actually, you know, I, what, the beauty sometimes of reading ebooks is that you um, don't always have to see the page count or you don't have to see, like in the case of this book, like that it's a big chunker and that, you know, you're only right here and <laughs> you see how much you have to go. So there's the psychology of it really does help me. But the other day I did something, oh, the book went back and I had to get it back again and then it showed the total page number and I was like, oh, so I'm really not that far in it. So that one, like I said, it's kind of a heavy material. Um, it's not a, um, a light story. So I have kind of put that aside of it. So I do want to finish it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it by the end of the month. Um, most likely the ones that I know that I will finish is this one. Um, and another surprise book that I had um, that I hadn't talked to you guys about. And then um, A Spy in the Struggle. That was the other one. Um, <laughs> that one, it's funny because it, the book is kind of, like I had said, I'm not sure if it is just a pacing thing that just kind of slowed down my uh you know reading of that book and then um it picked up again and now i have probably like less than 100 pages left of it and um and it's it's better it's you know piques my interest again so i will be finishing that one by the end of the month obviously um but the funny thing about that one was i thought that it was going to expire me and i couldn't get it from any of the other libraries and i was like oh my god i'm gonna have to order it and i don't know i think the book gods they must shine late on me because then Hoopla, a day later, ended up having it. So I just took it out of Hoopla. Hoopla's great because you can just keep retaking it. You don't have to. You get 21 days. And if you don't finish, you just renew it, which is free. I, I don't know if there's a limit to the borrow. I've never exceeded that. But, um, you know, at least you can do two renewals, you know, or a, one renewal. So... Um, so I checked that out there. So now I'm only in the last, like I said, less than a hundred pages of that one. But I thought it was so funny because my husband's laughing. He's like, you do this all the time. You always have books like you're like, I've had books that I am down to the last hour and he is just like, I'll be laying in bed next to him and I'm reading it. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I have like an hour left. I gotta get this done. And he's looking at me like, you're crazy. 
why do you wait so long? And I'm like, it's really not a choice. It's just happens with me sometimes. So there's that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, those are the ones I'm, I'm trying to figure out what books I want to read for Black History Month. I have one that I'm going to do a read along, read so lit. Um, and um, I have some books. Again, one of my goals also this year is to um, read from my bookshelf. And I tend to get excited about new releases. I tend to get excited about everything. Everything but my bookshelf. Except... I do get excited about my bookshelf when I look at them, right? Um, but then I just pass them and I, you know, I'm on to other things. So I am trying to curb it and trying to do a good balance so that I am picking up things that are off my shelf that I have had to read, um, especially because I need to make room. That's, 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 our, that's a problem of all, for all of us. You know, eventually you run out of room to store your books. So you have to make choices, what is gonna stay, what's gonna go. Um, but I can't make those choices if I didn't read a book that I've bought. So I am going to work on that. It's just, it is one of those things. The other book that I mentioned to you guys that I said is not really my TBR necessarily for January is um, The New Daughters of Africa um, by Margaret Busby. And um, I, took the, I took the cover off. Um, I've started, like I said, the introduction of this and that's as far as I've gone. What I said like in, the, in that other video is that I just plan on just reading this throughout. It could be throughout the year, it could be out throughout several months. Whatever time it takes to read this is when I'm gonna do it. But I will mention it, you know, um, when I have um, more to say about some of the essays and stuff that are in here and the collections that are in here. But I'm in the introduction and it's very good. I mean, actually I've finished, did I finish the introduction? No, I have a few pages left of the introduction. And then I will get into it, and I hope I'm hoping it's going to be really good. I am excited about this one. Um, yeah, we'll see. And then one of the other things that I did, you know, I want to I want to go through my journal with you guys soon. I th was thinking what I'll do is wait until I get through January, so you could see. Um, Oh, well, you won't be able to read it, but you can see how I write the reviews in here. So I will do that. But I did write up um, my goals finally. Sometimes I kind of delay that almost, I don't know why I kind of think I'm not going to read them or whatever, but I'm really going to try to do good about um, revisiting these reading goals quarterly so that I can kind of see and take stock of what I'm doing and am I going in the same direction. I tend to get caught up with a lot of read-alongs and as much as I love all of them, um, I just want to participate in them loosely so that I can kind of keep striving for the other things that I want to do rather than get steered in so many different directions. You know, the fun thing about the read-alongs is that you get to read it with other people, especially, you know, people that are always online and that like to talk about books. So it's always wonderful. So like I said, I will loosely participate in different um, read-alongs, um, but I really want to try this year to really focus on reading my books and meeting the goals that I've set for myself. Um, and I'll talk about those when I do the, um, the look at my... Um, reading journal. But um, it's funny as I, when I had mentioned this last week, um, that I noticed that they have a new one now that is a cloth one. And I think, I think it's longer than this one too. If I'm correct. I think it is a little longer. And I was like, oh, you know, so, cause I really like the uniformness of having the same style book each year. So that, like I said, for the shelf purpose, but if it at least is the same size, I might, you know, next year go with the cloth one. Because I hate these because I always feel like I have to constantly keep them clean. Um, and they do get, um, they take up, you know, lotion on my hands all winter. I'm like wiping off and just, you know, if you put it in your book bag and, you know, it gets grimy. So there is that because it's that like faux leathery feel on it. So, but the point is that I, I did see, I see once again, I get, I get steered into different directions, even, even with journals. Like I, it's not just my books. So I see something else. I'm like, Ooh, maybe I should use that one. I'm like, no, I've committed. So I'm going to see this one through. I do have a feeling that this year I'm going to run out of space. So that may 
give me an opportunity to try another one um, as the part two of the year, but we'll see. Maybe not. We'll only know. I'm thinking also, you know, because usually I write my reviews in here and some other things I keep track of, but I kind of wanted to include more, um, like I started to do last year is I started to include more of, like I was attending a lot of um, online author talks and I would include the notes and who it was. Sometimes I would include a picture that I screen captured, you know, that you could see the author. Um, so I think I want to do that this year. I want to make this structure, but loose enough that I can kind of catalog my book journey, which it, which entails all those other things as well. So I'm trying to figure out how to fit that into the format um, and make it fun. So soon, it's coming soon. But I hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing what you guys are reading. And I'm hoping that I can hunker down and, and get some checks on some of these books that I had set for my TBR for January. Cause I do, I do think that there will be one fail, but I will, I will push it through and continue reading it until the next month. So we'll get there. It's just, it's one of those things. It's like, I, um, I, I, some books when their topic is challenging, I tend to, um, you know, in the beginning, I'm very focused on it, and then it's, it overwhelms me a little bit, and I have to step back. So that's kind of what it was with that other one. I'm like, well, I'm going to get to that soon. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Read some books, wash your hands, wear your mask. Bye.